Recently, Hollywood has come under serious fire for reasons that are very just and fair. Mainly, many celebrities, both big and small, have been exposed as not being as honest, truthful, and nice as they all claim to have been. Now, it's true that this could be stated for many celebrities throughout history, but when you look at the recent fallout with Ellen DeGeneres, you can tell why many are on edge. And according to one comedian, James Corden is someone who will be exposed next. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Do you want to win a brand new iPhone or a brand new MacBook Pro? Maybe you'd prefer a $500 Amazon gift card. Well, comment the hidden message in this video for a chance to enter to win. Number five, Eric Andre's point of view. This whole question of character is coming out because of the comments of one man, Eric Andre, because he had some very interesting things to say on all that's been going on with Ellen. Speaking to Vanity Fair, Andre said, boo hoo, Ellen was mean, who gives it? I never thought she was nice. She seems like she'd be like, get me a coffee now. Though the Eric Andre show star did concede that it was unacceptable for bosses to mistreat their employees, he said that the specific criticism that the generous was not nice paled in comparison to some of society's greater evils. We have a psychopath in the White House, and we're in the longest war of all time. It seems like small potatoes compared to the world crumbling into these right-wing authoritarian dictatorships and these industrialized nations. He has a point on that one, because it does seem a little odd that we're focusing on a lot of celebrities showing their true colors versus fighting for our literal lives in regards to the presidential elections that are only a week away. And he was happy to call that out, as well as call out some other celebrities who aren't nice. Is that what cancel culture devolved to? He asked. That guy's not nice. James Corden is f if that's the only criteria to get called out. James Corden and Lorne Michaels are screwed. They're trembling in their effing boots, he added. It's a rare thing where someone goes and calls out someone in this manner and all but warning that they're going to get canceled next. But hey, that's what happens when you call it like it is, we guess. Earlier this year, a petition was created proposing that DeGeneres be replaced on, on the Ellen DeGeneres show by Andre, which gained 100,000 signatures and was mischievously shared on social media by Andre himself. It also should be noted that James Corden was also in the running for hosting the Ellen DeGeneres show should it be canceled, though he denied that this happened, as we'll explain later. Though it does make you wonder, is Andre right about Corden? Number four, is Corden the next to be exposed? Given the state of Ellen and her show, which is slowly tanking in the ratings and people aren't happy with everything she's done while coming back, it honestly is important to go and look at all the daytime and late night hosts and ask if they too aren't showing their true colors, which of course brings us to James Corden, whom Eric Andre suggests is just as bad as Ellen in terms of the nice department. Talk show host and Gavin and Stacey actor Corden has spoken before about treating people rudely when he became famous, telling The New Yorker earlier this year, I started to behave like a brat that I just don't think I am. It's so intoxicating that first flush of fame, and I think it's even more intoxicating if you're not bred for it, he said. While that may sound like a nice confession that he was mean, but isn't mean anymore, that's not necessarily proof of anything. Yeah, he admitted one time that he was rude to others, but the question is, did he stop? We honestly don't know. Though again, Eric Andre called him out specifically. Why was that? Why did he call out Corden unless he knew something about how he acts when the cameras are off? It's honestly hard to say. Now, as noted, Corden was one of the people listed to take over for Ellen should her show get canceled. However, when asked about this one of his late night episodes, he said the following. Genuinely, I have no idea where that even came from, he admitted. I think somebody started a rumor somewhere and someone jumped on the thing. There's absolutely no truth in that story at all. Zero. As far as considering it, I think it would be a really crazy thing to take over from someone who I think has done the job so outrageously well for like 18 years. It's not true and I think when the day comes to end this show, it will be the day to probably stop hosting a show every day. So no, I wouldn't. Now this is a very curious thing to say for various reasons. One, it showed that James praised Ellen and her show despite the awful things that she's done there. And two, he said he wouldn't do it because he wouldn't want to do it every day. Day, even though he does his late night show almost every day just like Ellen. So, was this him trying to swat down the rumors, or was this him trying to get the spotlight off of him? Because he knew that there was going to be people trying to make sure he was up to snuff, personally, so that there weren't the same issues with the new host. You decide. Number 3. What Made Ellen So Bad? Part 1 Now while it's true that Eric Andre made some big and fair claims about why some of what Ellen had done was overblown, mainly in terms of her getting blasted for not being nice, even he admitted that what happened behind the scenes was bad. Which is good to hear him say because as we found out during this year, there was a lot going on with that show in front of and behind the camera that was atrocious and that's why I got so much attention. Let's start with the in front of the camera stuff. While it was attributed to Ellen being Ellen before there were a lot of incidents on her show that can be described as not just mean, but rude, vile, and in certain cases racist. And with her being exposed to the world right now, everyone is seeing these clips in a new light. Let's start with some of the more basic mean ones. There were multiple times during Ellen's run of the show where she not only blasted fans, she treated them like dirt, such as when one fan made a painting of her and her wife Portia, and not only did Ellen show it on bad fan gifts for Ellen, but she blasted the quality of the picture with some terrible jokes. Why? Why would she do that to a fan who honestly tried a lot to get that picture just right to send it to Ellen? There were also contests that Ellen held so that fans could show their love, and one quote, winner of the contest watched in horror as her bust was on the show for only five seconds before being given away to an audience winner so that they could find 
cash in it. That wasn't meant for the audience, it was made for Ellen, literally. Shall we keep going? One time Ellen had a young boy on who needed a translator to understand everything Ellen was saying. His language was complex and yet Ellen was so impatient with how slow the translation was going that she blasted the translator repeatedly, saying that she needed to just say what she asked and to speed it up, and all that. That's racist for various reasons and yet the audience laughed. And of course, there was the Mariah Carey incident where Mariah Carey was said to have been pregnant and Ellen went to great lengths to try and get her to admit it, including going and getting out some wine, because if she was able to drink it, she wouldn't be pregnant. Not only was this a vile act, it was something that affected Carrie for a long time because she was pregnant and she had a miscarriage not too long after that interview. Carrie to this day says she felt uncomfortable by Ellen throughout the interview. And please believe us when we say that there is a lot more testimony out there from various people who have been mistreated by Ellen on camera, including audience members who were humiliated by her or were even told to not be as funny as Ellen when getting to meet her. Plus, that's just the on-camera parts. Now let's get to the backstage stuff. Number 2. What Made Ellen So Bad Part 2 The real reason that Ellen had a big scandal attached to her this year was because of the revelations of what went on behind the scenes during the production of the show. Ellen was revealed to be a tyrant of sorts, so much so that she would disregard plans for the show right before going on air, which sent everyone into a scramble to get things back on track, to making it so people couldn't look at her or even talk to her unless she allowed it. And she apparently even would pick on people for fun and even incite feuds between people at work just to get laughs. Doesn't really sound like a person who believes you need to be kind to people, huh? Then there were her executive producers who are supposed to be following her example and did that in the worst way by abusing their power and making all sorts of racist, aggressive, and misogynistic behavior towards the staff, even punishing them for going to the doctor to get better and for protesting racist actions made by them. These kinds of stories came out for months and it eventually led to an internal investigation, a firing of three executive producers, and a major apology from Ellen. That was... it was bad. Let's just be honest here. But arguably, what was just as bad was another fundamental problem with Hollywood, stars supporting one another. But arguably, what was just as bad was another fundamental problem with Hollywood, stars supporting one another. Number one, the celebrity support. It's a well-known fact that when a person you're friends with is hit with shade, you tend to rally around them and Ellen has this in spades. But there were those who speak out against her and noted that this wasn't exactly news. A great example of this is comedian Brad Garrett, who after hearing about Ellen's apology in regards to her producer's abuse of power, he said, sorry, but it comes from the top, at The Ellen Show, Garrett wrote. The actor continued to say he knew more than one person who was treated horribly by DeGeneres, adding that her behavior was common knowledge. That's pretty sad when you think about it, but what was worse was while some did speak out against Ellen, more spoke in support of her. Music manager Scooter Braun is a great example of this. He's the manager for Ariana Grande and Justin Bieber, and he said, People love to take shots at people. They love to see people fall. How quickly so many forgot at The Ellen Show is a kind, thoughtful, courageous human being who stands for what is right and highlights on her show the best of us. She's helped change the views for quality. Needed to say this as I know firsthand how she helped so many when we were watching and when we're not. She isn't about what is popular, she's about what is right. Sending love to Ellen today. Polo player Nacho Figueras also got in the supporting act who noted in a long Instagram post, I have been patiently waiting for someone with more authority than me to speak up about what a great human being at The Ellen Show is. I've been very lucky to be on that show many times and I can tell you that it is a very well-run machine. Everyone was super nice, not just to me, but to each other and anyone involved. I've seen Ellen act not just in her show, but in public appearances, in theaters, where she's nice to absolutely everyone. The guy serving the coffee, the person in the elevator, the security guy, and the owner of the venue. Think we're done? Nope. Ellen's longtime friend Katy Perry also spoke out about everything and recalled her personal experience with Ellen. I know I can't speak for anyone else's experience besides my own, but I want to acknowledge that I have only ever had positive takeaways from my time with Ellen and on the At Ellen Show. I think we all have witnessed the light and continual fight for equality that she has brought to the world through her platform for decades. Sending you love and a hug, friend. And to cap this all off, let's hear from Kevin Hart. It's crazy to see my friend go through what she's going through publicly. I've known Ellen for years, and I can honestly say that she's one of the dopest people on the effing planet. She has treated my family and my team with love and respect from day one. The internet has become a crazy world of negativity. We're falling in love with people's downfall. It's honestly sad. When did we get here? I stand by the ones that I know and that I love. Looking forward to the future where we get back to loving one another. This hate has to stop. Hopefully it goes out of style soon. This post is not meant to disregard the feelings of others and their experiences, it's simply to show what my experiences have been with my friend. And there is the problem, ladies and gentlemen. The problem with Hollywood and even life in general in some ways. Instead of calling it like it is and asking for better from one another, we're content with saying, well, this didn't happen to me, or she treated me nice when I was with them, which is the problem because that's not the issue here. The issue is how there was something bad going on and it took a lot of people to come forward to even address the issue. And yet, when it did get addressed, only small things were done to fix them. It's better than nothing, but not by much. And if this is being extended to other talk shows, 
show hosts like Rachel Ray, who is a known tyrant on her show, or maybe even James Corden, we're not making Hollywood better or more fair, we're just looking out for profits and the people we like. And there you have it everyone, a look at James Corden, Ellen DeGeneres, and more and how everything is honestly up in the air in regards to how crazy Hollywood is being right now. Are you of the impression that there are more celebrity hosts like Ellen who aren't showing their true colors? If so, who are they? And what proof do you have that they're hiding their true colors? Let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time, channel.